Here's Scully for Mannion. Lovely change of direction from Mannion onto his right foot, though, and that is beautifully done. Oh, he spots the run of McDade. Carrying an injury for so much of this year, but looks to be somewhere back to his best. Here is Shane Walsh. He has struck that so sweetly. And he in turn looking for Conor Callahan out in front of his marker, and it's laid off brilliantly to Fenton, and Fenton pops it over. Fenton firing it in his direction. Now McCaffrey, has he got the gas to go beyond Fitzgerald? You suspect he does. Costello can't quite lose McGrath. Back out onto his right foot. Worrying times for Galway. McCarthy. And the ball squirts out to the right hand side. It's Johnny Marr now. Put the brakes on wonderfully well. Walker's back out for a first touch since coming in for Keane Darcy, who did start against Monaghan. Now Walsh loses small and hooks it over with his right foot. Well, if Shane Walsh has come to the party, McCaffrey for Fenton and back to McCaffrey. Going to burn off the cover, going outside Dylan McHugh. Mannion. Bugler takes it on from distance. And why wouldn't it? Second of the game for Sean Bugler. Now Bugler. You know, then they're all retreating to this stage and there's still no contact. McCaffrey lays it off to Kilkenny. who gets inside McHugh's tackle and that's a score that Galway will feel has come a little too easily. The annoying and worrying Desi Farr, the ease of the attacks that Galway are getting. Luxon's kick out was well and truly pressed by Galway there. And this time Galway have managed to eke out the scores. Looking to line themselves up to be in a position to deliver that shock late in the proceedings. Good running by Comer. Back it goes to Killian McDade. And this time he has found it. Second of the game for him. Uh, not sure he fancies taking this on, though. He goes with the outside of the right boot. Oh, John Small has come up big for Dublin. And Dublin would still always find a way to get the right man in the right place. O'Callaghan going to burn off at Cheryl to get away from him. Con O'Callaghan, he has been closed in upon from all angles. Now Dylan McHugh. There's a real set of belief about Galway now. Liam Silk, this is where they wanted to be coming to Croke Park today. In the thick of it, in the contest, heading for the home stretch. He and Hernan now bringing the ball forward. These young Galway defenders will be emboldened by the exploits of the more experienced heads further up the field, like McDade, like Walsh, like Conroy. And Johnny Marr as well, who's on the ball, and he flips it out towards Johnny Heaney. Johnny Heaney looking to put Galway in front! They lead for the first time since the second minute of the game, and it's been pitched by Comer, and now Galway have a chance to counter. Comer waiting for the support run of Tom O'Callaghan, looking to make it a two-point Galway lead, and that's exactly what it is! Well, rarely has the pressure got to Conor Callaghan over the course of his career. Full-time scoreline of Galway 17 points, Dublin 16 points.